So hello everyone, welcome to the 2022 edition of how to crack clinical research interview for CRCs. In this video, we are going to see the most frequently asked questions to CRC interviews and what should be the possible answer. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel to know a lot about clinical research. Without further ado, let's start this video. So before going to the interview, let's understand what does clinical research coordinator or the CRC means. So CRC is a healthcare professional who is responsible for the conduct of clinical trial as you can see here and who conducts the trial according to the GCP and under direct supervision of principal investigator. Okay, so CRC works at a particular research site or the hospitals under the direct supervision of principal investigator. And this particular role of a CRC is a critical link between two stakeholders which is sponsor and obviously the PI or the site investigator. And most important aspect or role of the CRC is in patient recruitment, randomization and follow up of this subject right till the end of the study. Okay. And the CRC is responsible for all trial related activity as well as the study documentation at a research site. So this is in short the role of a CRC and what does CRC stand for. So when you go for a role of a CRC, you need to understand three important things. Okay. First one is what is the qualification of a CRC? Second is what is the education of a CRC and what does skill set is required to become a CRC? So qualification wise, the CRC must have minimum graduation or post graduation in which particular field it should. It can be in pharmacy, medicine, biotech. It can also uh, be with bachelors or masters in science in biotech, microbiology, chemistry, zoology. Okay. And when it comes to education, the CRC is required to have some kind of education in clinical research. It can be a certification in clinical research where the science graduate learns about strong fundamental uh, knowledge about clinical research and he's aware of the concepts of clinical research. When it comes to skill set, the CRC is required to have a very core understanding of clinical research concepts. Okay. He or she is also required to have a NEDA GCP certification which can be done freely and is very important when you work as a clinical research professional and the CRC needs to know about his his or her responsibility of the CRC job role. Okay. So when you have education in clinical research, when you have understanding of your job role, it makes you eligible for clinical research. So let's assume that you have all these three criteria and you move on to the interview. So when you go to the interview, there are eight critical questions which are asked for a CRC interview. And if you answer these uh, questions correctly, you are assured of the job. So let's start with the first question. So first question, they can ask you about your career objective. Here you need to explain the reason behind choosing this career and how do you plan this career? That is after uh, working as a CRC, what is your future plan? So that makes you uh, a very ambitious person as well as gives a clear clarity to the person who is interviewing. The second question that will be asked is what are your educational qualification? Here you will need to strategically explain how your graduation in science is going to help in working in clinical research and how your certification in clinical research is critical when you play the CRC role. And this makes the interviewer more likely to understand your clarity of your education. Okay. The next question would be, they will test your fundamentals of clinical research. They will ask you critical questions such as critical historic events such as Nuremberg code, the Belmont report, the declaration of Helsinki, what are the significant, what is the impact. So you need to know this particular events so that you have a strong fundamentals. The next question they would ask you is about the functional question. They will ask you about uh, documentation. Now you know that documentation and uh, data are most important aspects of a clinical trial. That is why we conduct the clinical trial and the CRC needs to know which are the documents required before, during and after the clinical trial as per ICAGCP convention. Once you know all this document, the person interviewing you is very impressed and he knows that this person has know-how of all the documents and he can work competently. The fifth question would be, what are good clinical practices? Okay, as I said that you can refer NEDA website and there you can do 
the course in GCP and these good clinical practices and the uh, 13 principle which comes through the good clinical practices would be very critical so that you know how a clinical trial is conducted and it is very recommended that you uh, by heart or know the 13 principle because it essentially envisions all the aspects of the clinical trial. Moving from GCP, there will be questions on role and responsibility. So obviously, what are the functions of a CRC, how a CRC plays a role in clinical trial. Okay, and uh, they will also ask you about the GDP as well as the documentation in clinical research. So once you know what is your role, what is your responsibility, you can clearly define that in terms of documentation practices. And then moving on, they will ask you this particular question, which is a very hot favorite that what are the new drug and clinical trial rules 2019 and the updates from the previous rule. So it is very important that you know the NDCT rule 2019, you study it, you should be able to have a distinction between the previous rules and this rules so that what are the updates from uh, 2019 rules and the other rules okay you should know the fundamentals of your regulatory rules now ndct rules are applied for india but you if you are in a foreign country there you can study your particular regulatory rules so that they know that you know the rules and regulation when working in this particular industry the last but not the least the question uh, comes about ae and sa reporting so you should have a clear understanding what is an adverse event, what is a serious adverse event, what are the timelines of reporting, okay, there are criteria for SA, okay, when it comes to India, there is a Sugam portal to report that SA, so how does the Sugam portal look, what are the criteria, what is table 5 in it, okay, and as a CRC, what would you do in case you come across a AN SA, so if you closely look, I have covered all the possible questions, and these are the question that will be asked to you okay as a crc fresher or even the experienced crc get these questions and this particular questions please pause the video and look at each and uh, all questions and what are the concepts required and once you are uh, good and thorough with this question it guarantees that the interviewer is satisfied with all your knowledge of clinical research and you can get a job in a very good company okay so these are the questions also working as clinical research professional you need to know the three golden rules of clinical research career so the first one would be having concepts okay so when it comes to concept you need to have very strong concepts of clinical research okay this you will get through certification when you do in clinical research there you should ask question know the core reason behind those concepts because once you are very clear about your concepts you can work very competently the second important aspect is experience okay so start working in clinical research start from the bottom itself okay as a fresher crc and then move your gradually way up because if you directly start from cra you won't know what a crc does and when once you go for clinical research monitoring you are essentially overlooking the work of a crc so i would recommend to start as a crc to learn and gradually move up the ladder the third thing would be skills skills are the most important commodity when you have a clinical research career so uh, please make sure that you have a very clear understanding of gcp you work according to the clinical trial ethics you work with the regulatory requirements okay and you develop skill along the way so these are the uh, important factors of clinical research okay and once you have the concepts experience and skills then you can make a very successful clinical research career so for all those students who are looking to enter into clinical research, who are looking to start a job in clinical research, so uh, our friends at Clinical AIM Research have a very good course. As you can see on your screens, the advanced certification in clinical research. So whatever questions I have mentioned, they cover all the aspects of the clinical research and much more than that. And you can call on the numbers uh, which are given on the screen and uh, explore uh, clinical research because uh, to be honest, medical research and clinical research as a part of medical research is an upcoming field and it is going to have a very significant impact and lots of job creation. So uh, please give them a try. So finally, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure that you give us a thumbs up and you share it uh, to your fellow students and colleagues and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you.